school versus everybody uh, early afternoon here. If you take a minute and just listen, and take my earphones out so I can listen. Hear those birds? Yeah, it's a song for Katino. They don't sound so sad though. And neither should you, neither should we. Um, yes, I'm not gonna sit up here and say, I'm necessarily happy that he's gone, that would be crazy. Um, but it is a player that, that has helped us this season, of course. Um, a lot of people will say he's our best player. I don't believe that. I don't think we have a team um, where there's necessarily a best player. I think I think we are the best when uh, our team um, uh, plays together. And, and, and all together, we're, we're one unit. This isn't the team with Brendan Rodgers and Luis Suarez, where arguably he was our best player. And you see what happened when he left. Um, I think on the bright side, people need to realize that um, we didn't capitulate when Coutinho left. Uh, at least I don't remember seeing that. Um, we struggled um, to, 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 to get the ball in the net, but we still made chances. We still looked threatening. Um, and then Origi, who came in for Coutinho, um, scored a goal. And it's good to see him get that goal because um, he's been the odd man out. And um, you could say Sturridge, too, I, I guess. But I think Origi was, was really, really hungry for that, that, that moment to get in. Um, a significant amount of time, mind you. Not not the last 10 minutes, 20 minutes, five minutes, whatever it's been for him. Um, he came in and right when he came in, like Klopp said, he looked like he wanted to score a goal, like he wanted to make a difference in the game at least. Um, so shout out to, real quick, I'm, I'm gonna be all over the place in this video, so you know, uh, bear with me. But shout out to um, uh, Tokyo Reds, I think it's called. They got a really good channel. Uh, if you guys haven't sub subscribed to their channel, please please go do so. Or at least just go have a have a look, give it a thumbs up. Um, three guys out in Tokyo, um, and they they were saying some really encouraging things to me. And, and one of the lads over there was saying that how uh, this could be a, a small blessing in the skies. And that might sound crazy to a lot of you, but um, this gives the, us a chance to show our depth in the squad and, and how strong we can be without key players. Um, we've been doing okay. We're getting positive results without Lalana. I think a lot of people thought that was going to be a, a, a big loss for us. Um, and we can do the same with Coutinho. I believe that. Um, I spoke about in the last video that I feel like uh, Firmino was going to pick up a knock, and he did. Um, he hobbled off the pitch, and I'm glad that was the only one, the only extra person besides uh, Coutinho and Sturridge that, that, that have uh, injury news as far as I know. Um, so we could be losing Firmino for some time as well. Knock on wood, hopefully not. But listen, this is, this is something that we knew was going to happen. You know, it's a long race, this Premier League. And in that race, there's going to be pit stops. And hopefully in those pit stops, we can retool up and, and come back stronger uh, to, to win the race. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm staying optimistic about it. Uh, you know, it's not doom and gloom time for me, and not at all. Um, Coutinho's back in January. Uh, maybe around that time, we picking up a new player or two, probably just one. Um, then again, I don't know. I don't know what we're really going to need if we step back and look at the squad and, and see who's healthy and who's not. <clears throat> Who's ready to play? Um, the other thing they mentioned in, in the Tokyo Reds video was that, uh, you know, it's interesting how people are saying that the way we train and play and the way Klopp um, sets the team up and however he puts us through these grueling workouts or whatever is the reason for injuries, which is crazy. If you think about the injuries right now, there are people who have been hurt here and there um, since Klopp has been there. Sturridge, we already know, he stays hurt, it seems like. Uh, Lalana had some ups and downs, um, but a guy like Klein. You know, you think he isn't training his butt off, and you know he's played so many games. And someone can remind me, he may have gotten hurt uh, over the time he's been there, but it's been very few times, and he's been playing a lot of games and still really healthy. Um, just to mention one guy, but yeah, to me, I think Lalana, in the grand scheme of things, is more of a frustrating loss just because of the the industry in the midfield to get our, our team kind of moving forward. But um, even with him, we 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 have to find replacements and I, and I know that we can. Uh, this Leeds game is going to be really good to see um, who we field and um, from that uh, we can kind of maybe figure out who we can field in the next um, competitive game against uh, Bournemouth. So uh, I'm not really concerned. I'm, I'm not I'm, and that's just me. I mean call it crazy but I'm, I'm not really concerned about uh, you know us you know falling off or, or, or um, you know, losing games now, or and, clear, and definitely not our season being over. It's really, really unfortunate to see, you know, people on different channels and Twitter or whatever, with all of this, this, this really sad, this sad outlooks on, on how our season's gonna go now. You know, saying our season's over and, oh, now we're not winning the league. Yeah, that's it's pitiful. Um, but again, you know, 
other fans feed off of that. And I think that had something to do with the crowd. And I'm not going to talk much about the crowd again because I've already done it. Um, but I think that was the reason, um, or some of the reason why we weren't as, as, as strong as we could have been uh, in that game against uh, Sunderland. So I think we just need to get behind the team, uh, be positive. How are you? Good, how are you? And, and just... Um, you know, realize that at least things are going to happen. And, and again, um, a, a good team is, is full of, you know, star players and, and also players that might not be um, as star studded as those, but players that can come in and do a role. And if anything, these guys should be hungry to come in and show Klopp what they're made of. And, and, and I that's what I trust that we'll, we'll do. Um, so the Leeds will be a nice, nice tune up game um, for the Bournemouth game. You know, we got to see what we've got. Um, especially if Firmino is hurt as well. So um, I think we should rest Mane as well. Um, maybe Chan gets a run from that 11. But I think other than, and maybe Wijnaldum, maybe you push Wijnaldum up to a, to a more advanced role, say where you know Mane might be or where Coutinho would be. But um, you know I think you give Mane uh, some rest. Um, so. Uh, yeah, this it's not a time to, to give up, guys. It's not a time to give up. If anything, it's, it's more of a time to um, just get behind the team, just support the team, uh, stay positive. Uh, we have not lost in some time now, and that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know much about the Leeds team. I didn't do any real homework on them, um, and that's just because I'm, I'm more focused on, on our team and what we're doing. Um, and that's kind of with any game, you know. Um, it's more about what we're doing and not what the other team is doing because uh, we've obviously figured out ways to 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 play against all different types of opponents. Um, opponent, opponents who put 12 guy, 11 guys behind the ball, um, opponents who want to come out and play football with us, uh, which I think Bournemouth would do, and I'll get into that uh, later in the week. Uh, just focus on this this match and some of the Liverpool news. Um, but yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm not not worried at all. Um, uh, this team is, is, is built of steel, man. They, we really are. And it's really, really nice to see. Um, and, you know, I, I know the boys are, are supportive of Coutinho and it looks like Firmino now because it looks like he might he might be hurt for some kind of time. I don't know how long it'll be, but um, I think the sooner we can get Lalana back, because uh, I'm, I'm even curious to see him maybe playing a more advanced role, maybe where Coutinho was. Um, but I'm, I'm looking to get him back, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, hopefully the next, maybe not for Bournemouth, but maybe the game afterwards. Um, Sturridge, doesn't seem to be any timetable on him. I just looked at the uh, the uh, clock pre-match presser. Um, he didn't have much to say about Sturridge, but but simply he's not ready to train. So who knows how long that'll be. Um, but this is it, guys. This is it. This is what we know uh, could happen. Um, and we also need to know that you know there's there's light at the end of the tunnel, and that we can bounce back. Um, and well, not even bounce back. We can continue our good form with the players that we have. Uh, I think Origi is going to be really special. I thought that before the season started. Um, and not solely based on last season, just based on his spirit. You know, um, you can tell he loves playing with that red shirt um, or green or black, whatever shirt we choose to wear. But he loves to play with that Liverpool crest on his chest. And um, I think he's going to be really special. I think he's going to be a guy who not necessarily makes us forget about the guys we don't have, but, you know, makes us feel like Wow, you know this kid Origi has has really come of age, and and he helped us get through this season. Uh, he's going to stamp his name on this season and on this team, and, and we're all going to be that much thankful and happy for it. So, um, hang in there, guys. It's not the end of the world. Trust me. Um, we got a long season to go. We got a lot more wins to get uh, under our belt. Um, I still don't see us losing this calendar year. Um, I don't ever see us losing. I don't. Um, I just think we 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 have a really really together team and that we're going to fight for each other through all adversity we've had we had some already and we've gotten through it um so uh, the Thunderland game i think is a sign to come that we're going to be okay with with or, or without our better players um so yeah enjoy the week enjoy the game tomorrow we'll be back post match it'll probably be late i'm gonna be getting home late from work so i won't be seeing the game live but um i'd be curious to see what people are saying after the game but uh we'll be back with probably like a late late show um, and by that time, everyone will already know the score and everything. But just to give us some out, give some of our thoughts, um, concerns, questions, whatever, um, concerning Liverpool Football Club. So, uh, till then.